Well, that's the situation in Mpumalanga. And as you can see, this is uh, not a unique problem here in KwaZulu-Natal, in the Mapumulo rural area where we are broadcasting from. This, of course, forms part of the uh, Ilembe District Municipality, 11 district municipalities uh, in KwaZulu-Natal. Now, the, uh, the main water um, supplier here of bulk potable water in KwaZulu-Natal is Mgeni Water. And joining me now is the CEO of this uh, of Mgeni Water, Cyril Gameda. It's good to have you here on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, I mean, we look at something like this. We've got the dam that's going to be handed over. You were telling me um, we're hoping this will be completed in fully complete and supplying to the communities and the farms in what, two months' time? Yeah, in two months' time, it's currently about 95% complete. So in two months' time, it will be fully complete. Mm -hmm. However, it will probably miss the rainy season, yeah. so it will not start impounding. So we are hoping that the next uh, rainy season, it will start impounding, and then by about January, February next year, it will be full. Yeah. I was reading a statement online, um, I think it was at a function very recently, you were there, and basically what was said was that Etiquini and parts of no the north and the south coasts of KwaZulu-Natal could run short of water in two years' time if rainfall trends continue the way they are right now. Um, is this how bad the situation is? Yes, it's a very stressful situation in KZN. Uh, because in the north and the south of uh, Eteguini, the dams are very small. So with smaller dams, you actually have a problem that they dry up quickly if there is a drought. Uh, uh, in Deben, it's supplied through the Mgeni system, and we've got quite a lot of dam in the Mgeni system. So the impact is not as in the south as in, in the north coast. But in about two years' time, uh, Etewini will can also be st will start getting into a deficit. Uh, in that in, in 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 that way, then it means that some water needs to be uh, uh, moved from somewhere to cater for that deficit of water. Yeah. You know, we talk about water restrictions, um, and currently here in this municipality, there are major restrictions. In terms, how are these? What are these restrictions? Talk us through them. Mm. Uh, with water restrictions, you know, you limit the use of water to mainly essential use. Uh, you exclude things like washing your, the cars, uh, watering the garden, uh, filling your swimming pools. Uh, and the, in, in, in the north coast, there are fines which are uh, associated with uh, use of water, uh, not in an economical way. And also, um, cutting off water of certain stages, I mean, this, this is something I've heard here in the area as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, the last stage is that what you do is that at certain times you actually cut off the water so that you can fill the reservoirs. Because what you don't want to happen is for reservoirs to run dry. Because the start-up process uh, can be very tricky with air getting into the system, etc. Mm. Yeah. We've been talking about a water crisis here in South Africa for a while now. Could you say that we have a water crisis? Mm. I would say that we, we, we will be going into it if we are not implementing some projects uh, which are in planning stage at the moment. There are quite a few projects which are in planning stage. Uh, like in, t in Etegwini, uh, we need to build a dam at in the Mkomasa River because we are not going to get more water from Mgeni River. So we do what is called an interbasin transfer, where we get uh, water from another river to supply another region. So if we keep delaying projects of that nature, we will actually have serious problems. And uh, problems of the, uh, or programs or, or, or of that nature, or projects of that nature, they take from seven to 10 years. So it's not really small project, it's a mega uh, project. Yeah. So, in other words, we've got to fast track everything. No delays. You've got to make this happen fast because we're sitting on the brink of a massive crisis for the country if that is not happening. Um, thank you for talking to us. I know today is, a, is an occasion to celebrate, but every other day is, a, is an occasion to work very, very hard. Yes, definitely. There are all plans on the ground, and as Umgeni Water, we are making sure that uh, we keep supplying the infrastructure and keep our customers uh, uh, receiving water, which they desperately need.
Cyril Gamede is the CEO of uh, Mgeni Water, that of course is the largest supplier of bulk potable water here in uh, KwaZulu Natal. 426 million cubic meters uh, is supplied to six municipalities. All right, let's take.